In this video, we're going to talk about thermal comfort. What is thermal comfort? Thermal comfort is a person's perception, so how they feel, related to the temperature and air quality of a space. An example of this is feeling too hot or too cold. When designing or assessing an indoor space for thermal comfort, we need to consider six main factors. The first one we're going to look at is clothing insulation. What we choose to wear is actually a form of personal insulation. We tend to add layers of clothing when we are cold and remove them when we get too hot. A person's size, age, fitness level can all affect their thermal comfort. Number two is metabolic heat. Metabolic heat is the amount of heat our bodies generate from all the chemical reactions happening inside our bodies to make energy. Our metabolic heat increases as a result of increased physical activity and need for energy. As a person's metabolic heat increases, so does their oxygen intake. Everyone's metabolic heat varies depending on their activity level and environmental conditions. Next, let's talk about air temperature. Air temperature is the temperature of the air surrounding our bodies. It is usually measured in degrees Celsius. When the air temperature is hot, we're more likely to remove layers of our personal insulation or clothing. And when we're cold, we're more likely to rug up. If it's really cold, you might even pull out a beanie. Number four is radiant heat. Radiant heat is the type of heat that radiates off a hot object or surface. For example, have you ever been in your car on a hot summer's day and the sun reflecting onto your car has made the inside of the car feel hotter than outside? Or perhaps you've had a fire when camping or you've got an indoor fire at home. Standing too close to the flames can make you feel very uncomfortable and too hot. This is the radiant heat from the fire. Number five is humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. Too much humidity can make us feel sweaty and uncomfortable. Too little can make our skin feel very dry and sometimes itchy. Your geographic location or where you live can also impact on your humidity levels. There are some areas of the world that experience high humidity and other areas that experience low humidity. The final factor that we're going to look at in this video is number six, air velocity. Air velocity describes the speed of air moving past a person. No air movement can make a room feel really stuffy. On warm days, air movement helps to keep us cool. But on cold days, too much air movement can feel like a cold draft. When planning for thermal comfort of a space, we need to make sure that the air velocity is consistent. This will help us optimise the air quality of the space. Now we've discussed all six factors that impact on our thermal comfort in an indoor space. We've looked at personal insulation, such as clothing, metabolic heat, air temperature, radiant heat, humidity, and air velocity. Have a think about these factors inside your classroom or an indoor space where you often go and see how many apply or you feel that you could alter in some way to improve the thermal comfort of that space. It's exciting to know that keeping these factors in mind when designing, you can improve the quality of people's lives. The more comfortable we are in a space, the more livable it is. Now it's your turn to design for optimal thermal comfort. Good luck.